Okay, so since it's my birthday and Lusk very soon is also celebrating the 110th birthday this year, um, I thought let's look at some of the centenary special kits they put out in uh, 2008 that I got. And they're not official jerseys because they, of course, never worn. They have more fan jerseys. By the way, I'm wearing the 98. That was 90 years last. A very unusual shirt. We'll look at this some other time. But the ones that I'm looking at here is a replica of the first ever jersey. Which, it didn't have the crest, but you can see here, this is the last 100 Jahre, which means 100 years. So this was the centenary crest that they used throughout the season. Uh, this is, down to the material, a very, pretty much an exact replica of what they were wearing. I'm sure that the fabric, the way they fabricated it is now, of course, more modern and so on. But this is actually a cotton shirt. It's actually quite nice. Long sleeve, because back then people wore long sleeved soccer shirts. I love the striping pattern. I also love how when the collar is closed, uh, you know, there's this white patch and when it's closed, you don't have it. But I actually like to have it a little bit open, have a little bit more, less elegant if you want. And yeah, it's very plain, black and white on the back. I remember wearing this in America, usually on Halloween. And everyone thought I'm a referee. No, I'm not. One guy even saw me and I said, hi, is this Juventus? And I said, no. <laughs> he was so proud that he could pull out Juventus as an American. And still he didn't get it right. But yeah, uh, this is the first jersey that Lask ever wore. So absolutely gorgeous one. Almost my go-to jersey for Lusk in a way, especially if it's cold, 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 because it is very comfy to wear because it's cotton. Nothing against polyester shirt, but there's something very special about this one. The other jersey is a little bit more polyestery, and unfortunately, my parents gave this to my birthday 10 years ago, actually. And at that time, it was almost sold out. And if you look at the name tag, uh, the size tag, XXXXL. It's huge. I still fit in it and I don't look like a flying dinosaur. But this is the, a replica of the jersey that they wore when they became champions in 65. First team, not from Vienna, to become Austrian champions. And the only time that last became champions. They also won the cup this year. Also the first team, not from Vienna, to do so. Back then, it didn't say last here. This is also added on, uh, but it actually makes for a nice touch. Note the white sleeves. So that's the big difference with the black cuffs and the crew neck collar. But um, if you see pictures from the championship team, that's pretty much the jersey that they're wearing. And it has its more of a polyester feel. Uh, it is, I think, a, a mixture between polyester and cotton. Because back then, the, uh, that's how it started. I just want to see that if I can find any tag in here. Where did I say the material? But I thought there is no tag in here. Yeah, but it's a little bit more of a... Uh, it's still not like a modern shirt, but it has a little bit more of this plastic component. Of course, this here is a cotton. This here is cotton too. But other than that, really nice jersey. On the back, it actually has a number, 9. And I love the black number <laughs> that you barely can read. But you know, 65, there were no TV. There were no, no TV matches yet. You couldn't see them on TV, so that didn't matter. Look how small it is. Usually nowadays it would go from here to here, something like that. Really, really small number. But also, just like they were wearing in the 65. So, um, two special jerseys. Yes, it's not the exact jerseys. So that would be great to have the original last jersey at the championship jersey. I'm not sure if they even, maybe they exist in a museum somewhere. On that, a really nice rep, replicas and a nice way of, you know, cells, cells are celebrating a centenary of the most liked club in the region. That's for sure. There are others, but that's the one he's for, for entire, not only Linz, but also Upper Austria. So therefore, yeah, here you have it, the special centenary jerseys, the first jersey and the championship jersey from 65. Well, let me know what you think about these jerseys, whether you have any centenary or other uh, jerseys that celebrate anniversaries. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. 
subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. I'm gonna soon cover a few more shirts that are, were actually worn in matches, not, not uh, fashion shirts. And I will talk to you soon with those. Bye.